Hello everybody, today I'm sharing with you a design team project for Crafty Me Shop on Facebook and this time around I have made some altered file folders. I've made them as packaging and I'll share them with you now. I've made three of them and they're all a little bit different but they do have very similar types of things in them and this is the front of them. I have used the beautiful uh, lace doily pieces. They were actually a square doily like that. Very beautiful. They were bright white and I tea stained those. Underneath them I have put pieces of the the fabric that I don't um, I don't have the fabric. Do you the beautiful let me just see. Oh here we go. Here we go. The beautiful lame fabrics well it's fabric but it's got like a lame thread going through it there was a mint color and a and this purple color and then there was also the beautiful pink lace fabric as well so I've used those in this in these projects so I've put this one's got the the soft purple underneath that lace doily in the center and then at the edges I've just put some colorful fabric so it gives it that boho vibe. I have this gorgeous beaded applique piece here that was a quite a large piece from Crafty Me Shop and I cut that up into pieces and I've popped that there. This green floral piece here is one of my own off a fairy dress that I found when thrifting. A seam binding and tool, pink tool uh, closure. I have a couple of little flowers that were my own here. More of that applique. I have the file folder covered in lace and across the top I've ruffled up some sari silk. So that's all the front cover. Let's go inside now shall we? So this is the file folder. Let me make sure we're under the camera. Oh it fits just wonderful. <laughs> It has two tuck spots on either side and in those tuck spots I have made some collage tags and this piece of beautiful blue applique is from Crafty Me Shop also. On the back we have this, um, these printables, these are from Tsunami Rose, I think it's the light, uh, life for bloom something like that anyway I purchased those a long time ago and I stumbled across the printouts while I was going through something the other day so I thought I would use those uh, in the center here we have a little bag full of goodies um, each of them have the same thing that's just a simple handmade glassine bag I have I, I, I think they're coin pouches, if you can see. Um, the opening is in the centre here, and it's got a little acetate type of pocket. So there's one of those. There are two uh, score pad sheets. Well, actually, there's four, but two different times. There's two of these and two of those. There's a guest check, there's a pay envelope and there's also this um, pocket swing tag thing as well. So each of the file folders contains the same things in the center. More of that printable, we have some tatting down the center there. A lace covered pocket here with a collage. This beautiful, beautiful applique piece here is from Crafty Me Shop, as is this lovely, lovely lace that I've put along the center there as well. Now, in each side pocket, we have a little journal. Now, this is just like a, a quick little jotter type of journal, it's in a slender form. And it's, it's what Yvonne calls a naked journal, Yvonne Preston. She makes journals and she calls them naked journals occasionally because there's no decorating done in it whatsoever. And it's just got a couple of little um, bags put in there, tea stained paper, another bag with a tuck spot and a little pocket up the top. 
another bag and just a different paper. There's the center there and the same on the other side. The little journals are covered in the fabrics. Isn't it just beautiful that fabric? from Crafty Me Shop just in a you know collage type of way or patchwork way and it has this gorgeous this particular one has this gorgeous piece of the ribbon down the center there and that is also one that I purchased from Crafty Me Shop so that's the little notebook journal on that side and there's also one on this side also totally different um, collage of the fabrics there I, that was my last piece of this, a larger piece of this mint green one, so I, I just had to use it, so it's in no particular, you know, it's not in a straight form. Some tatting, and once again, just slightly different bags inside of this one, and papers as well. So that's what's in that one. And then these are actually made to hold the little boho journals that I made recently using the Crafty Me Shop things. And this one had the purple square here, so of course I used the purple on the front of this particular one. So each of them is made to kind of match with the journal. So that's the first one. The second one is slightly different because I only had two of those doilies for the centerpiece. So what I did was I cut a piece of the beautiful pink fabric out and then I used this lovely lace from Crafty Me Shop and just stitched it around the side of the fabric and then tread it like I did with the doilies. I just put a little bit of tatting over this one here to add a little bit more texture and once again the offcuts of that brighter fabric under there just so it blends in with that boho look. Slightly different flowers in the center here also but everything else is you know very very similar. And there's the inside of this one. All the tags are a little uh, are different because I just it's they're just collages of different things of die cuts and um, I think there's a takeaway form there and that's rice paper from Stamperia on the back I love that rice paper it's so pretty and once again the lovely applique piece from Crafty Me Shop and of course the little side pockets just have a um, sari silk bow on it once again the lovely applique piece and the lace across the bottom here and we have a couple more of the journals this has a bit of the ribbon on it here just a collage and the same sorts of things inside as well and then we have this one here the ribbon going that way and once again just a little naked journal inside and this particular one what color have we got here we've got the pink the pink lace on this one so this one must be the pink journal goes in this particular one and like I said before these little bits in the center here are all the same as the first one that is easier to get out once you take that journal out okay once you take the journal out it's easy to get those things out in the center there because um, it's a it's a tight squeeze once the journals in so that's that one and the last one I have is this one here and of course this would be the mint one because I've got the mint fabric underneath the same sort of um, design as the purple one um, because this is the other square doily here opening it up same sort of thing inside tags are slightly different same components though really pretty nice and brightly colored and I thought the tsunami rose um, 
collaged paper went quite nicely it didn't overpower the colors I used on these but it did complement them so we have our little journal in here um, this one doesn't have the ribbon on it but it does have tatting going down the side I've left the zigzag showing on the inside because I thought it was quite nice it's just a little bit you know eclectic isn't it it's just it's an it, it shabbies it so that's another little naked one in there and then another one here and it's just got strips of the fabric I like that one and the same sort of thing inside there and that's it I'm quite happy with how they turned out I have put I was going to do a process of making and decorating one of them but like I've mentioned before my husband's been home a lot lately my son is on school break at the moment so it's just not easy to do long filming bouts when that happens so what I've done is I've just done a quick how-to on how I configured the file folder to make this sort of packaging and I hope you enjoy that and um, I'll be able to get on to another project for Crafty Me Shop I think what's the next one we'll move away from these colors now I think and we'll we'll do something a little bit different with the next project so this ties up really quite nice and snuggly in there you know I'm not the best bow person <laughs> And I added this tool into it because it gives it just that little bit more fullness because seam binding tends to go a little bit limp after a while so the tool sort of fills it up a bit. So that's what it looks like inside. You have to have the width of the file folder to be able to take the, you know, the thickness of the journal inside. If I was to make it that big, it wouldn't really fit properly so um, that's why they're they're this big and these three journals I've decided will I'm going to sell them da 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 I haven't sold any of my craft work before um, but I'm going to put a few things up for sale because a lot of people have been asking me but it won't be until the end of the month so because I've still got to work out the how to do it <laughs> But I do have an Etsy store set up. I set it up at the beginning of the year and I've been procrastinating ever since. Um, I'm not going to sell everything I make, but I will be selling, you know, pieces here and there if anybody is interested. And yeah, yeah I've got a few ideas. Um, so we'll see how it goes in the second half of this year anyway so thank you so much for watching and please give Esme's store a like on Facebook uh, you will have to request to join her group she has the most beautiful laces and trims and kits and appliques and she they're always different things up most weeks um, and there's always be a post on the Facebook page telling you when the next sale will be and it's, it's usually Friday Saturday US time so and you will never be disappointed because her things are absolutely gorgeous as you can see her gorgeous fabric pieces um, absolutely beautiful the gorgeous apple appliques look at the beading on that it's they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful so thank you so much for joining me today and take care everybody bye I will just show you how I made the file folder the shape of it the file folder itself is I think 14 14 inches long and this is an Australian file folder I don't know if they're the same all around the world or not but that's the size I'm working with and it's also nine and a half wide the width doesn't worry me in any way but I need to mark off a point I need to 
it's 14 inches I need to cut it at the 7 inch mark so I'll get my cutter out I've already tea stained my file folder so it's a little bit wrinkly so now I have two pieces and now I need to have another file folder to make the extras with and what I'm going to do I'll just put these to one side for a moment and get myself another file folder and I want to cut a strip off this file folder that is three and a half just a moment I've got a measurement here I wrote it down okay so four and a half <laughs> okay I need to have a strip that is four and a half uh, actually what I'm going to do is just trim off the corner piece of that one because I don't want the curved piece on the end of it all right so now we want one that's four and a half inches we'll save that for all our other pieces that need making Okay, so we have our two larger pieces and our smaller piece. And now what I want to do is insert that over. I need these two pieces like that. What I'm effectively doing is extending the file folder and I want to extend it till it's 17 inches. See that is too much so I'll need to push those in just a little bit so that making them fairly even as well. Okay that's 7 inches there so what I'm doing is overlapping them by three quarters of an inch yeah by three quarters of an inch and to hold that there how you want it just pop a little bit of glue little bit of glue there for the time being just so it doesn't move around too much don't need a lot you can glue the whole thing I'm going to be sewing it as always wherever I sew you can actually glue let's just flip that over and put a little bit of glue on this side as well just so it doesn't move around and it stays nice and straight you can make this same style just in a smaller size without putting the extender part on it now I'm going to stitch that in place there Another way to do it would be to stitch this center part first and then glue it into place if you didn't want to muck around with having a big file folder under your sewing machine. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to stitch down there, stitch down there. I may just, I may just trim of it as well because it seems like when you when you bake your file folders and things like that 
sometimes they shrink a little bit and that one is noticeably smaller than the other one um, so that's only at the front it's that noticeable but I might just trim that up anyway there's my scissors Not that that will be that noticeable once it's done. This front one is more noticeable though, so I will take a bit off there. Like that, and the same here. go ahead and sew that middle part in and then I'll be back. So now that is sewn and yes this old machine does skip stitches and things whenever I use it on paper but I'm not concerned because it gives it that shabby look. Next thing I'm going to do is score my folder. I'm going to score it at four and four and a half. And then do the same again on the other side. those sides are nice and straight. About four and four and a half. Okay, and that will give us our side part. got a little bit of space in here to put the journal in and then you've also got a pocket there and you will have a pocket there and then I've gone ahead and cut a little cut a couple of pieces out hello okay so these are the pieces We've got this one here and that is three and a half by four. I have two pieces of those. That one goes on that side. And then I have this piece here which is seven and a half by five and a half. And that will go in the center like that. And that will give it a, a little tuck in there, a pocket there, and another tuck in here. And that's how I put my file folder together. The next thing I did was attach the lace around it on the outside. And then I decorated the inside. Each of these pockets was covered in lace. And then I just used a printable that I had already had 
and decorate it behind the little tuck spots there and that's that's the design of the file folder.